Welcome to Learning Bricks CAD. In this lesson, we're going to be discussing using tool palettes in the context of a content reuse workflow. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that our tool palettes are turned on. Right clicking on any icon on the toolbar and choosing tool palettes will cause the tool palette window to appear. And within the tool palettes window, there are a series of palettes. Each palette is represented by a tab. If I right click on one of these tabs and choose new palette, the next thing that I'm going to do is give the palette a name. In this case, we're going to be storing some block definitions here. So we'll enter the name blocks. Next, we will launch the drawing explorer and we'll use the Drawing Explorer to we'll use the Drawing Explorer to identify the blocks in this that are currently defined in this drawing and then quickly add those to the blocks palette. So what I want to do is identify the sync oval block we're going to right click and choose add to current tool palette and if I move this over we can see that definition now applied to the tool palette. Let's repeat the process for the sink kitchen 18 and the toilet. So let's go ahead and close the drawing explorer and then we will adjust some of the properties on the block definitions contained within. So if I return to the tool palettes window and right click the sink oval top block and choose the properties option and then we'll look at the tool properties dialog box and I can scroll down and let's change the layer for this particular block we want it to always be inserted onto the fixture layer so we'll set that option as such and then click OK. So now the properties have been updated. Let's go ahead and drag this into the drawing. Again, we'll use the entity snaps to identify the center of the rectangle and locate the kitchen sink there. And you'll notice that despite the current layer being zero, the object was inserted on the fixtures layer. Okay, and that completes the lesson on using the tool palettes in the context of a reuse workflow.